How's it going, everyone? My name is Nori Plays, and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I last uploaded, maybe a week, a week, uh, a week and a bit. So I just want to let you guys in really quickly on what's going on is I've been working, uh, picked up some work on the side, so obviously uploads are going to be less frequent as well. So let's enjoy the pit, you know? I've played Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Uh, I didn't do the crazy... Uh, modded version of it where you can like increase the difficulty for the roof but i kind of know what's going on i also w really want to play the actual game called into the pit i'm not sure if you guys have seen that but i've been watching markiplier play it oh my god what in the world are you talking about can i use it oh what are you talking about and honestly i want to give it a go myself so let me know if you want to see and make that happen uh down below in the comments Without further ado, this is the Flow Studio Into the Pit mod. Of course, Five Nights at Freddy's, there's the, like, yellow Bon version. There's Freddy, and then there's this pixel version of Doodad. I forgot his name. So once again, the team is right here. You guys can read it for yourselves to give credit to all these amazing guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was based off of a YouTube song, actually. So this is going to be pretty exciting. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right in. There is a bonus and there is a secret polo. Cool. Right off the bat, I love the look of the skeletons on the Incredibox dudes. Love the background as well. It, it feels different already. It feels different and it feels like it's pretty quality already. So if you are new, as always, I will cover the beats, which are the blue ones here, and then the effects. The melodies, the voices, and then, of course, the secret at the end. And then we'll do the bonus together. And then at the end, I will do a mix for all of you today. So, without further ado, let's get into the beats for this one. Yep, I can hear it. I can hear it already. Yeah, I love that. The look of the polo as well, <laughs> with the little flat top. Looks very drippy, it looks very drippy. Oh my god, look at this mask! We all know who- we all know who this is gonna be. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's a guy wearing a foxy mask. Interesting. Oh my god. What is wrong with your- <laughs> What is wrong with your eyes? Just the basic clap, you know? The beats are just gonna be basic. Security! This is me in the game! <laughs> Watching all the cameras and getting killed. Sounds pretty good. It's just like a hat, but it's done with his mouth, of course. Again, an instrument that is done by the voice. Hey, not bad, not bad sounding. Final beat. Wait, this guy is dripped though. It's just a crash, I think. Is it? Oh, riser? It's a riser. Cool. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. So far, I love uh, the e each and every single polo design. I think it fits the theme really well. For some reason, whenever it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, everyone just goes really crazy into like the detail and uh, and just the whole design of of like fan made stuff for it. It, it, it impresses me like nonstop. All right, next up we have effects. Effects. We have a guitar head. So let's start with that. Oh. Turn it up. Yo, I, lo I love the sound of that. Is that? Since that has four frets, it is a bass guitar. 
cool sounding bass guitar, honestly. It's very unique sounding. Is this a reference to Markiplier? A hundred percent this is a reference, no? With the red hair and the must red mustache he had at the time? And the glasses? Dude, I swear this is Markiplier, all my life. Cool background uh, vocal. I enjoy that. Whoa! Okay. So... <laughs> so this is the one that gives away that this is going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's song. This one right here. It's kind of like a dubstep glitch hop kind of sounding track from what I heard. And this is also uh, an animatronic, but I didn't get to this one. I don't think. I think it's one of the newer ones. I'm not too sure. Ooh. Ooh. If you listen closely, it's only playing from the right ear, and then it goes to both. Look. Weird. Weird, like, panning effect, but it's cool. Because it's only coming through right ear, it kind of feels like it's quieter. So, in that effect, is also very unique. Ah, oh, there he is! Honestly, the looks are amazing in this mod. Holy. It's very stylistic as well. They didn't go for just the generic look. They added their own spice to it, which I love that. I love that because they knew how to do that. Sometimes uh, mod creators just add their own spice and it kind of takes away from the original, but they were very... Um, what's the word? What's the word? They were very... Faithful. Faithful to the original design. There you go. So, the, those were the effects. The effects were banging, of course. Uh, effect 5 was a, the weirdest one to me, oddly enough, because there was a weird... And I'm not sure if that was intentional, but there was a weird, like, little vi vibration in my left ear. Like, if you listen to this again... I'm not sure if you're gonna hear that through speakers, so... You might have to wear some headphones as well, but it definitely was unpleasant to listen to. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine beyond that. Melodies. Melodies are going to be cool because this guy's in here. This guy right here. Oh. The key melody. Da, 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 da. Oh, hell yeah. I love that. I love that little uh, rise at the end, though. <laughs> very, very cool. Very cool. It gives off that spooky vibe, but it doesn't make you scared, if you know what I mean. Oh, there he is, Bonnie. Oh! Oh, it goes hard as hell. Just completely went and crushed the audio. You know what? I'll take it, man. That's pretty impactful. Because even the animation kind of matches that sound where it's just like in your face kind of thing. And it's, and it's like you've been caught. Um, yeah, just, just a very cool looking polo and very cool sounding. Uh. 
Oh. So it doesn't do the same thing as Melody 1. At the end. Yeah, so Melody 3 is pretty much Melody 1, but um, again, kind of with like a, a filter over it. Uh, and a bit crushed, obviously, to make sense with the whole 8-bit theme. Oh, the eyes are cool on this guy. Yeah, sick. This could be, um... I don't know what sections are called in music, but right at the end, before I end my mixes, I always love to, like, smooth it out, and this polo would be perfect for that. So that's, that's a really good one I'm going to use, probably. Another guitar. The animation is insane. Yeah, nah. The animation's crazy. The design? The way the strings are like... Just wobbling. You can feel... It's really exaggerated, obviously, but... It's so cool to see that attention to detail there. Um, and the animators have done a, an incredibly good job here. Dreadfully, terribly, something is amiss. I forgot to mention. Uh, voices. <laughs> Let's get right into the voices. Dreadfully, terribly, something is amiss. But I won't mind the feeling, it's all made up in my head. Destiny's melody calling out to me. So what I'm gonna do is fall for you and walk out to the edge. Dreadfully, Hell terribly, yeah. something is amiss. But I won't mind the feeling, it's all made up in my head. Destiny's melody calling out to me. So what I'm gonna do is fall for you and walk out to the edge. What I am curious about is how people make this stuff, because clearly they either use stems, and if you know what stems are, it's like different parts within the original song that you can just download. So, for example, you can just download the drums from a song, or you can just download the voices. But in most cases, I feel like in Incredibox, most people just remake it themselves, which is huge audio engineering knowledge, to be honest. And it, it, it surprises me every single time. So again, I'm not sure if they use stems or not, but if they didn't, really impressive stuff. So good. Oh my god. Oh, the shivers. The shivers listening to that. No one sees him here. I try to forget and enjoy what's near. Never to believe what's to come. I never thought that would be the outcome. No. Not a bad sounding polo, but there's one issue, and that is you, you won't really be able to put these up together so if there's a lot of them that have their own like kind of individual flair you're gonna have to kind of swap them out whoa yo again look at the animation look at the animation on that head Oh my god! With the growling in the background and stuff? Oh my god. Oh my god! The attention to detail in this mod is unreal. I love that sound. Again! Let me try pair this up with Melody 4. I love the sound of both of those together. 
I, I'm whoo, every single polo has been fire. Secret now, the secret polo or additional polo, whatever you want to call it. It looks so good. Brother, the artists and the animators are insane. Just the whole team on th on this mod. That sounds really bloody good. Oh my god. Okay. So uh, since I've covered all of this, let's just get right into the bonus. Let's get right into the bonus. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm very curious to see what's going on here. What's to come? I never thought that sounds so good. Finding a place full of life without pain, no cause to complain in a life that I played. But my eyes, circus, what I see inside. It's a hundred percent. There's blue eyes, there's blue orbs. I recognize anywhere. It's you. No, 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 not you, you. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. You can't convince me otherwise. Does Blue Orbs are voice twos? Um, and I forgot the name of this version of... Is it Bonnie still, though? It's like Yellow Bonnie or something? I don't know. Either way, my thoughts about this mod are that the art is unreal. The art is just phew, on another level. Uh, while staying faithful to the character designs, of course. The, the sound engineering is pretty good for the most part. Again, just Effect 5 is the only one I would pick at. Really. So, very good all round. Uh, the bonus is short, but obviously enjoyable. Bonuses shouldn't really be the main focus. It should be the polos. So... My opinion, they pulled it off here really damn well. Uh, of course, the YouTube song, uh, they stayed really faithful to the sound of that as well. So, if you made it this far into the video, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below with your thoughts, and of course, subscribe, because we are going right into this mix. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Terribly, something is amiss But I won't mind the feeling It's all made up in my head Destiny's melody calling out to me So what I'm gonna do is fall for you And walk out to the edge Dreadfully, terribly, something is amiss But I won't mind the feeling It's all made up in my head Destiny's melody calling out to me So what I'm gonna do is fall for you And walk out to the edge
outcome Flow Studios into the pit, Five Nights at Freddy's mod. What a great mod, man. Oh, what a great mod. I'm not sure if that mix was long enough or too short for you guys. So again, if you want a longer one, I, I might end up doing a longer one in my spare time. I don't know. No guarantees. Once again, I'll probably just upload this one to the separate playlist I've been working on. But what an enjoyable mod. I'm pretty sure I've used every single polo there in that short amount of time span which is crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, uh, which means that the mod is very flexible with what you can do and generate different vibes. So I'm going to give this a mod. I enjoyed this mod a lot, honestly, a lot, honestly. So I'll give it a 9.5. I, I will genuinely give this a 9.5. The only 0.5 for me was effect 5 once again. And a few nitpicks here and there, like with uh, Melody 3, for example, sounding a bit too similar to Melody 1. Not an issue, not too big of an issue, but again, I would have loved to see something else there as well to maybe switch it up even further. So, did you enjoy Flow Studios Into the Pit mod? Obviously, I came a bit late to cover this, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of it. If you did, as always, smash like button. Subscribe if you are new, because once again, we are on that huge milestone now. Next milestone is 25k. So I'm going to need all of you guys' support. And obviously, comment down below. Apart from that, I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace out. Dreadfully, terribly, something is amiss But I won't mind the feeling, it's all made up in my head Destiny's melody calling out to me So what I'm gonna do is fall for you and walk out to the edge Dreadfully, terribly, something is amiss